Okay, Shalom Wam, call Allah Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai. This is your brother Awar making a video to feed the sheep, to edify the lambs. Shalom to the Akim and the Akwathi, and they're going to be watching this video. Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, Baraka Thumb. Call Allah Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai. I skimmed through this article a little bit, and I was, and it vexed me just reading it. And honestly, it, 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 earlier today too, I seen some stuff on, uh, Twitter with some with some Jakes, right? Some Israelites. I seem they're at a party. I don't. I can't tell if it was at a club or in the house, but pretty much, pretty much, with our women and our men being, being, uh, you know, just being a kind of going crazy. You know, you know how Jake is when they're at parties and at clubs but it was a uh, a sister twerking over a, <laughs> a, a brother's face right and then another jake comes in while she's doing that and grabs her by the butt and starts daggering her and and uh the comment that I the the person who posted the tweet said that said something about how you i i ain't um how women tr pretty much degrade themselves and the and the and there was pretty much two responses of the, the men the 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 brothers I would agree, right? And then the woman who would be blaming the guys. Well, what about the guys, right? And then and the woman was saying that she was just having a good time and saying, "Who are you to judge?" Right? She ain't doing nothing wrong. She's having fun. Right? But you know, not to not to. Not blame the robot. The most I does say that the adulterer and the adulteress both shall be put to death. Now, not to say that she, she was having sex. She has a man, and she was going around having sex with those other men. But that's the type of our people. That people don't know that sex. That uh, sex is marriage first and foremost, and they they and they've been indoctrinated to believe that it's okay to go around and and sleep with. Sleep with multiple. Our women think it's okay to sleep with multiple multiple men, and our men think it's okay to to commit adultery with with uh, against against uh, women that are already married to men. Right. So it's vice versa it's on both both the genders. But the the attitude that vexed me is that our people is pretty much saying you who are you to judge? Right. She's having a good time. When no, when first and first and foremost, no self-respecting woman would be doing that in the first place. Okay, it's fine if you if you're dancing with one, if you're dancing with a, a couple guys, but now you 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 got the man's, you got more than one man like doing you like that. Come on now, right? Show 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 some show some self-respect a little bit. Yeah, the brother shouldn't be doing it either, but as a as a daughter, that's that's even worse and, and more and more degrading, right? But I seen this, and I wanted to go into it, which reads, "UN Women's Right Agent U UN Women's Right Agency tweets motherhood is a penalty on Christmas." Right, and then I guess that's just through the spirit that it's been on this. That it's kind of that kind of find it run into a, run into an article that's kind of talking about women and and their and their views into in in today's society. Right, so let's go into it and read. And it says, unless those in charge have lost their marbles, it seems the Christmas break at UN Women started a little early thanks to an entirely avoidable ro row about, about things at this time of year, motherhood. As 1.3 billion Catholics all over the world reflect on the miracle of a lowly young girl giving birth to the Savior just over 2,000 years ago, you and woman, ironically in charge of gender equality and female empowerment, tweet out a message detailing the disadvantages of motherhood as some sort of political point. Right? This is this is the society that we live in. This is Esau society. But this is not how the most I had it to intend. They're looking on uh, being a mother as as something as something bad. And what is the point? The, the disadvantages that they're they're talking about is not that you get to. Do you get to raise your child and have a baby and have a start a family? It's that you that the woman look. It says, 
more unpaid care and domestic work, irregular work, reduced employment, limited maternity benefits, gender-based occupational seg segregation, gender pay gaps, higher rates of poverty in older age. What does this have to do with, with uh, raising a family and raising a, ch a child? All this has to do with money. That's all it has to do with. Right? And this is why the, the, the so-called white man's and it's starting to happen on these on the the Asian countries too. Their their birth rates are depleting and falling fast, so to the point they're 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 already gone past the point of of um, dupla of of a uh, return. Genesis chapter one. This is a society, the wicked society that that the so-called white man has wanted to perpetuate. This is how everybody wants to live in a society where you can't judge anybody. Right, there's no such thing as good or evil. We're pro we're progressing by having no such thing as good or evil. There's no bad or good. You can't. The only the only morals come from whichever country you live in, which that's made up by some man. So either way, you're still following someone else's moral code. Right, but Genesis one and twenty eight, and the Most High blessed them and. And the most I said unto them, be fruitful and multiply. So like, let me start at verse 27. So the most I, so the, and this is in the Hebrew, it's the Allah which means the powers with the angels, including Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai was the first created, right? So the Allah the powers created man in his own image. In the image of the Allah of Allah created he him. Male and female created he them, right? Male and female should go show you Adam and Eve weren't the weren't, weren't the only two people on the on the face of the earth. And the Most High blessed them, and the Most High said, which we know it says Allah Hayyam, but I'm gonna just read it as the Most High, because He gave the commandment anyways. Said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply, and replenish the earth and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth up upon the earth. So the commandment was to be fruitful and to multiply. But now people don't want to be fruitful and multiply. They want to make money. They want to. They want to get us. Uh, they want to better themselves in society. So they don't care about the spiritual. They don't care about the spiritual. Which that and and if people, if we, if people, it shouldn't even really have to go to say that's being spiritual. They just don't care about the natural. All these people care about what is that money going to do for you? Everyone's today, it's a December 25th. People are celebrating a, a pagan a holiday known as Christmas, which based on lies, right? And they buy they buy each other gifts and make the make the, the companies more rich, which those gifts only going to give a satisfaction for about a week or two. Then everyone is going to go back. Then it's just going to become a normal thing in your life again. Those gifts don't last you forever. Right, the feeling that you get from them don't last you forever. It's just for a season. It's just for a moment. Right, but that's how the society is. It's it's everything's about everything's about um, everything's about get now. Why wait? Everything's about you live. You only live once. So let's use up the materials of the earth while while we, I'm alive, and forget about the next generations. Who cares about them? It's all about me, me, me. To hell with having kids. Like I want my. I need money. And the funny part is that these people always complaining about that it's it's it has to do with the economy. They need to make more money before they can have a kid. But you see people in what the the so-called white man likes to term third world countries. They have they have an over they're having way more over than the than double the t the amount that that uh these the, the people in the Western society the amount of children they have. So I don't understand what the, what their excuse is. Is that they hate? They hate the Most High. They hate his way of living. They hate the instruction that he put upon the earth, right? And this is what it says: This is two and twenty-four. Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother, and shall cleave unto his wife, and they shall be one flesh. The woman don't want to cleave to the man. No, they don't want to. They don't want to do that. They want. They think it's a pressure. It's oppressing them to be with. So I get to be with that man. Let me go find my. Oops, not here. Tripping. Right, they think it's a it's an oppressive way for a woman to live in the care of a man. 
So it it has them going on to a more individual lifestyle, which most it's some of them either have one or one one child, or some of them end up having no children at all, one or two children, or one child at all. But most women don't care about that. They're getting their satisfaction, their their desire, and their lusts off of hopping from man to man now. Okay, and a message of the kind usually cited on the office feminist coffee mug in the communal kitchen. And that and that gender the gender pay gap is a myth. Uh, the note lists the penalties of motherhood, saying penalties. What's a let's let's look at the word penalty. I'm gonna go go it on my my computer because I'm right here. Penalty. So they they view it as a penalty. That's a wicked thing. That's a wicked. The most I said be fruitful and multiply. But they're looking at it as a wicked thing. Why? Because this society promotes it as a wicked thing. You can't make a lot of money as a woman, right? You have to rely on your man. You have to rely on your family. So it's it's a drawback. What was the money? What, what the the money that America promote uh, produces is paper. It doesn't mean anything. It's just paper with with an amount written on it, with a number written on it. It literally doesn't mean anything. But people put so much value into it. The same, all these holidays, everything doesn't mean anything. That's why the most I call it vain and vanity. Right? Uh, it says penalty. Uh, a disadvantage or unpleasant experience suffered as a result of an action or circumstance. A punish, a ver, uh, one, a punishment imposed for breaking a law, rule, or con contract. Right? Synonyms for a penalty are disadvantage, difficulty, drawback, handicap, snag, downside. See? You see this? And this is what, just reading it, it just vexes, it just vexes you. you. You say, why would people think like this? And and the only reason they, they bring it out is because, because of money. Right? There's a lot of precepts I have, but I don't even know how, how I should, should, should read it. But let me get this real quick. 1 Timothy 6. And these the Enoch, Jasher, Jubilees, those are those are pseudo books written by Edomites. Look it up. So I, I just downloaded this this uh this Bible app today. So we don't read we don't read those books, we don't go into them. We don't go into them. You go into the book of the prophets of the Israelites. That's it. The canon. Oops, lucky you no. Know. Wait. For the, for the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some coveted after, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. So this is why they're doing it, for the love of that fake the fake dollar that doesn't mean anything. So lucky, let me go back to the article. This is why these, these people's minds are warped. They've, they've drunk of this wine that you need to, they, they want to make money and live good lives. Instead, instead of look at the long term, that's what Esau did. He sold his birthright, which is the would have been the kingdom of heaven and immortality, right, and all the blessings to rule over this earth forever, and serve and be the and his people be the servants of the Most High, over some food because he was hungry in the moment. So that's how these people live. And so, so like it. In the message, uh, let me start at uh, around as if those women with children needed any reminding. Okay, let me start over here. In a message of the kind usually cited on the office feminist coffee mug in the communal kitchen, the note lists the penalties of motherhood as if those women with children needed any reminding. So there's more unpaid care in domestic work. Which usually goes by the term of parenting, but hey, it's Christmas, so we'll accept the cracker level joke, right? Uh, back in the day, you didn't look at it as a people didn't look at it, look at back at it as a drawback, right? It, yeah, it's just as the person is pointing out, it's just parenting. You just that's what happens when you raise a kid. But women were happy to have the baby, but that's that like Edomite spirit. These Edomites are against life. They don't promote. They don't promote righteousness. They don't promote life on the earth. Yahushua's kingdom, there's going to be no homosexuals. There's no homosexuals allowed in this kingdom, in the kingdom of the Most High God. But they don't promote, they, they don't, they, they, they speak against that. They, they promote homosexuality. So how are you going to, how are you, how are you leading people into the, into the way of righteousness? Right? 
So let's set the, the cracker level joke. Next on the list is irregular work. Then reduced employment. Uh, see irregular work. Again, these are the comprom compromises that millions of people around the world make in order to raise their children. The choices are either don't have kids, which is a non-argument, or pay for child care, which in most cases makes the whole point of working irrelevant as the money earned is simply paid out to the to the care. Right. The essence of this argument is one of of priorities, which is up to the individual to decide, not the welfare state or employers looking for stable and reliable workforce. Right. So let me get let me get um. Genesis six verse five because I have it written down for some, but I don't remember what is there. Oh yeah yeah now I remember it. Genesis six and five. Right. And the Most High saw that, and that's in all all caps. So you know it's the Most High, the highest, Yahweh. And the Most High saw that the wicked of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. So that's the point that this earth is getting into. That the 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 earth is getting corrupt. People don't want to keep the natural use. Man doesn't want to do their natural use that the Most High created them for. And you know who this affects the most? It affects you, you so-called white people the most. You eat them the most. Right? Look at your, look at the statistics on your birth rates. I got all the, the articles right here. Right? Let's start with the American one. Fewer births than deaths among whites in, ma in majority of U.S. states. Right? Washington deaths now outnumber births among white people in more than half the states in the country. I wonder why that is. Why? Because Esau, these these so-called white people, they love money. They want to work. They want to live a good life, and the, and thinking about having children and, and replenishing themselves as a nation of people, that 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 comes after. You see, because they don't think about that. All they're thinking about is themselves, and and, and feeding their own belly. They forgot about the long-term effects of 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 not of not um of not uh being fruitful and multiplying, which is a joyful thing. You guys. Stole the stole this land, you killed people for it, and you don't want to have no children. You're supposed to. You're the wealthiest nation on the planet, and you're supposed to be having tens, tens to hundreds of children like we used to back in the day. Right, but no, they 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 they. You got a man like Trump only got one or one two three kids. But all the millions of money that he has. If a, if a Jake, if an Israelite man, one of these Negroes Latinos had millions of dollars. That that isn't indoctrinated with the with the mindset of Babylon. They would have gone gone get them them their own land, right, and had bare babies if they wanted to. If they really were thinking about the long term of, of Babylon, of living in the Americas, they would have they would have got them their own land. They had like 10, 10, 15 kids, which that's not that's not normal. That's not um abnormal, right? My dad told me how my great grand grandpa had uh had nine kids. Right, it's not. It wasn't normal. It wasn't a, a normal thing to have a, a lot of kids back then. Even that was just a few decades ago. Right. So, so look at that. that's the Americas. Look at this one. This one's from 2019. Right. It says uh, Italy's birth rate hits a new record low. Birth total of 400, 440,000 last year, said to be the lowest since the unification of Italy in 1861. Right. So this is this is this is uh let me let me read that the number of babies born in Italy hit a new record low in 2018 the population shrank and the average age crept higher see the average age crept higher so people are living good they're eating good y'all are good, doing fine well obviously because you're only taking care of yourselves because you're selfish that's all these Edomites are these so-called white people that they will take all take over the whole earth right and destroy it. They just destroy it and just and just keep and the only thing they care about using it for is to make money, so they can keep living better better than everyone else, which it's only mainly one percent who really gets to enjoy it. So who's this? Who's this? Who's this affecting the most? It's affecting you so-called Edomites the most, and that's prophecy. That is prophecy. So you're finished. You're finished. Your time is almost up. We're waking up. We're waking up to who we are. And the Most High is raising us up and sending us in order before your eyes. 
and now he's bringing you low. Which you're bring, being brought low through your... He doesn't even have to touch you. You bringing low your own selves through not keeping his laws, statutes, and commandments. It says, Obadiah 2, Behold, I have made these... And this is concerning you. So you soak a white people, the Edomites. Right? So this is a vision concerning you. Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen. Thou art greatly despised. So you're becoming the smallest nation among the heathen. The Americas where you where you were already the minority in the Americas, but you had to kill to make yourself a majority, you're about to become the minority again. And that's just in the Americas. If we consider the South South Americas, you already outnumbered. Anyways. So going back to the to the article. Keep forgetting where it is, right? Look at it then. This is this is Japan. This is also 2019. Japan's birth. Births declined to the lowest number on record. Right? And why? Because they've drunk they drunk of the wine of Babylon. They've drunk of the, these nations have drunk of their philosophy, their ideologies, the Western way of living, the Western society. And now it's coming back to bite them. When people don't think when it when they don't think about it the most is when is when it comes to get them. But they don't they they, they truly don't see it yet. I don't know why it's hard for me to find revelations. But it's going to come and hit them hard. Right? For, for, uh, so like Revelation 19 and 2. For true and righteous are his judgments. For he hath judged the great whore, which this is the America, right? Babylon, virgin daughter of Babylon, which did corrupt the earth with her fornication, that avenged the blood of his servants at her hand. Right? So the, the, the so called white man used the Americas to, to promote, to promote uh, a way of living, society, a lifestyle, right, which people uh, term as Western civilization, Western society, and everyone else says all the other nations have started to, 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 to be be indulged by the lifestyle and start taking part in it. That, well, that's one of the main reasons they want to come over here in the first place. See the video with uh, a, a woman from the Philippines. Who who who's who got a job in the Americas in a rural area, and she said in the back home they never they, all they get shown is uh California, New York. She never thought that there were places like that like the rural in America, right? So so oh, there's a plenty of articles going into the Edomites, the so-called white people losing losing the their birth rates are going are going way below the point of of return. Right, according to this, look at this. According to statistics, Finland's data on population changes, the birth rate fell for the eighth year in a row, and that's 2018. Oh no, that one's this one's talking about 2019. April. This is April 2019. First paragraph I'm reading. Right, it's below two, man. It's below two. Okay. Let me let me get a few more precepts on Isa because they're getting caught up in their own devices. They they're promoting to everyone oh, we you can be a homosexual, you can be a transgender. That, that isn't reproduction, right? All those all them all those sodomites do is they they go and get an adopted child because they can't they can't make a child. Why would you do so, why would you do something so so against nature itself and then go get a and go get a child? That you could you can create if you were to just obey your natural order. So let me get uh, Proverbs. I believe it's twenty. No, I think it's nine. Let me get nine. Okay, let me try Proverbs six. And two. Nope, nope. Proverbs. 29 and 6 uh, let me let me actually just look it up oh come on, Proverbs 9 and and sixteen. Okay, it says, "Whoso is simple, 
let him turn in hither, and so for what, and and as for him that wanted to understand, what, what? Bro. You, oh, you know what it was? I put in Proverbs, I mean, it's supposed to be Psalms. That, that's what I'm tripping, I'm, I need to sleep. That's what I need, Salakia. Psalm 9 and 16. There it is. The Most High Yahweh was known by His judgment. That's when the Most High will be known by His judgment, which He executeth. The wicked is snared in the work of His own hands. Right? Who is the most? Who do you? What nation of people do you think is the most? The most uh, sodomites, the most transgenders, that abort the most. Right? Or do or take part in these things a lot. Is it? Is it Edomites? That's why. That's why their birth rates are so low. Because they chose, they chose, they chose to cast the most high's words behind them and to choose and to choose sin. And now they got their woman talking about that. We should, that you, how are you going to even bring up that argument when your people are are already are already starting to become the minority in a in a country that you guys are trying to say are are claiming to say make great again, right? So all the things that the most high set up. The people are looking down on it. 29 and 16. Surely the turning of your things, surely that your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. For shall the works say of him that made it, he made me not? Or shall the thing framed say of him that framed it, he had no understanding? And that's what they say through their works. That's what they say. They say, they, they say the most, for now they just say the most I don't exist. Right, we can do whatever we want. Right, this is progression. A woman can be with a woman. Who are you to judge? Who are you to say a woman can't? Uh, a woman can't be with a woman. Well, it's not really you. It's the Most High who said it. But then, but then they don't believe. So why is the point of bringing it up to them? Right, they hate it. Don't why? Why bring it up to them? Though you, you even if you were to come with the scientific facts on how unbeneficial it is, right? They don't care. So so let them die. The Most High is gonna he's gonna take them out. Don't worry about it. Right? They they have it coming. The time is coming. The Most High is not gonna just judge. He's gonna bring the plagues on this place. Gotta understand. And the plagues are coming, and this is what the woman wanted. This is what the woman wanted from the beginning. Right? The woman wanted to be, to be to be greater than great as Adam. She wanted to be equal or or even greater than him, and that's what deceived her. But ever since the woman started starting get started uh when and when the woman started getting some in more power, the earth started getting more and more corrupt. She she got to Eve got taken by her own lust, and that's why the serpent had to go to the woman. Right. Genesis 3 and 4, And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. For the Most High does not, doth know that in that day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. Right? And that's what ultimately happened. They started, we, we know, we, now we know good and evil. So now we have the laws, now we're given the law to, Thou shall not. Right? So anything, anything, Anything that the Most High says we can't do, we can do. Right? And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree to be desired to make one wise, she took of the fruit thereof, and did eat, and gave also unto her husband with her, and he did eat. And she got that feminism. That, that's This is the first, the first take on feminism in the scriptures. Right? She thought she it was pleasant to her to hear to hear what whatever that man is he was spewing in her ears. Okay. And then that's where the sin came in. So let's get this in Romans. Cause I was just I was just vexed. I'm just I, I, I give up on this place. I'm done. It's done. Like all that's left is for it to just be destroyed. Let them. See, they'll see the errors of their ways real soon. So, so I can't. You can't even worry about. It. You can only worry about the elect. All right.
That's all. That's the only people you can worry about. Romans 1 and 24, Wherefore the Most High also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts, to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. Who changed, who changed the truth of the Most High into a lie, and worshipped and served the creature more than the Creator, who is blessed forever. Amen. For this cause the Most High gave them up unto vile affections, for even their woman did change the natural use into that which is against nature. Right, and likewise, also the men leaving the natural use of the woman, rendered a lust one toward another, men with men working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was meat. And even as they did not like to retain the Most High in their knowledge, and it's people who who hate the Most High who always who do who end up doing these things. Why? Because because the Most High is righteous. He's order. He's just. He's he's life. Right, but if you go and turn away from him, you doing the exact opposite of life. Is it you? And that's just that's just facts. That's what you see these people doing. And now their whole mind is is messed up. Their whole mentality is just evil. You don't even want to have a conversation with them. Right. The most I gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient, being filled with all unrighteousness. Fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whisperers, backbiters, haters of the Most High, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, that's what these children are nowadays, without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural effect, affection, implacable, unmerciful, who, who knowing the judgment of the Most High, that they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. Right? So the, as the earth keeps getting more and more corrupt, you're gonna see. You're gonna see, you're gonna see, you're gonna see if the most I truly exists or not. You're gonna really see his judgments. And the most I and the most I this this the most I flooded the whole earth and only saved eight only saved eight people, which he only saved those eight people because Noah was righteous. So ultimately, he would have only saved Noah if he if he really wanted to. So he, the judgment's coming. He seems like it seems like the Most High's chilling right now, but he's he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna bring in some real pain on this earth, some real death and destruction, some things that you can't even put in words. Right. So with that, I want to say, Kahalahi Hawa Ba Shomi Shalom.